Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Where would you rather be? Where would we rather be than right here today? Whether it's Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, hopefully you got it on a Tuesday, but what in God's name, Joe, are you fucking wearing? I can't hear anything. What in God's name? I cannot hear anything. Is this guy Is it muted? Joe, would you, would you just try and I can't hear? I can't hear. <laughs> this guy, Michael. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Michael, do you I mean, I, that's anything? that's on your end, Joe. I tell you what, we can hear that sweater because it's as loud as a fucking F-14 fighter pilot flying overhead. <laughs> what is wrong Whoa. with this guy, by the way? Whoa. Look at Bob all mastered, mastered out over there. But also to, to, to come head. on and just keep reiterating that he can't hear anything. He's, yeah, like, we gotta, he's like my we dad. To, we got to start over. I don't think we do, Mikey B. Uh, all right, that's fair. I don't think we do. I am all mastered out. Are you excited for the Masters now, Michael? Yeah, very. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have Master Sunday at my house. Some of the boys. Do you know? I even like was gonna make plans that week, forgetting that it was Masters week. People take it so seriously that you really can't from Thursday to Sunday. I don't think that you can have legitimate plans. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to, I want to, yeah, I'm going to have some of the guys, I was thinking about it before, and then Fubi Lou actually suggested it to me, and I said it was already in the works, I had already mentioned it to Holly, that I think it would be a good time, so. I Joe, I, I, I but Mike, he's already cut you off, but. No, but no, it's fine. What in God's name are you wearing, Joseph? This is my brand new Fireball sweater that they sent me in a care package. I saw that, that they should send that into a ball of fire. This, guy, I mean that, and that's with all due respect. Yeah, fireball. all due respect to Fireball. <laughs> I mean, I just, I, hey, the to, good people of Fireball like, but, but Joe, this goes back. You know what? First off, I don't mind Fireball. That that is one of the most atrocious looking sweaters I have ever seen, and I mean that with all due respect to Fireball. Joe will take a package. He will. Let me guess, Joe. They DM'd you and they wanted to send you a package. Yeah, they sent a great care package. Great, beautiful <laughs> did, care package. Did you really need Fireball, though? Did you really need it? Was that worth having them send a care package? Well, listen, I now I got, I got free booze, booze the next, I guess, like, 15 right? rounds of golf that we play, let alone they sent me a onesie, a sweater, some hats. A like, onesie. if you want any. If you want any trucker hats, Mikey V, I got some trucker hats. Too. I have. I gotta be honest. I got more hats than I know what to do with. I like don't. I like don't even wear half the hats that I have. It's disgusting. Oh, a little poochy, poochy, poochy. It is. I can't get over that. I can't get over that thing. <laughs> Look at that dog. Is cute though, man. Nicole said the sweater is hideous, but I, I kind of like it. It's disgusting. Uh, Joe, it's Joe. That's the kind of sweater you wear to like like a like an ugly sweater party. And for not the people to who are not. I, yeah, I mean, it, you know the classic Joey what, what Joey D has pulled, and we won't say the name of it, but it, this is vintage Joey D, and he's all look, he's off to a good start with the March Madness, and I was able to ride it, you know, ride with it for a little bit out of the gate. Joe is taking his March Madness picks from his own bookie, so his bookie is handicapping. I'm his, red hot. I'm as hot as a fireball sweater, to be honest. If it's it's one of the is that not one of the craziest things you've ever heard, Mikey B? Yeah, that's unique for sure. But as we know, that's one of the adjectives that best describes Joseph. But yeah, rarely does a bookie give you the plays to put in against his own book. But perhaps we're dealing with a unique individual. Well, this wanna... guy is up so much on the week that he doesn't really care how I do. There you go. Sounds like a friend. And, I, and by the way, Bob, I gave you like two, three picks yesterday. They were Stunning. all winners. They were all winners, and you didn't ride. Well, when I, I rode you, I rode, I was with you day one. I, you know what though, I I did get to a point though where, and I I never want to have my own account because I I just it, it, it's no good for me to start my own account and just get into that. I was so into the March Madness out of the gate. I was texting Joe every single game to put in. And Joe's really good about that. He really is. He isn't. And I know that I was hitting a wall with him to where I was I was putting in too many bets. Um, Joe, are you going to tilt the camera every single time you feed the dog? Well, I, I want to get some camera time. It's very distracting. Um, but he he's very good. He's very good with it. I was putting in a tremendous amount of bets to where it got to be too yeah, much. Yeah, I told him, I said, if you want to ride on some things, let me know. I'll put it in. 
I, I, I leave my phone, Mikey V, and, and like five minutes later, there's like seven picks. Yeah, Bob's the tough over parlayed with the money line. I want this. I'm like, Bob, <laughs> anybody who realizes like actual handicapping, the more games that you take, the less likely you are to win. And Bob's hitting every single game of every slate. It's not the way to go about it. Joe, so you're Joe, you're telling me that you didn't have the entire board they wanted you to told me for to you. ride with you on half of these picks. But, you're like, cuz I need you to ride with me. But even moving forward from that, even when I was away, you mean to tell me that you didn't have just an assortment of picks in? I had some, but I'm being more selective. I'm that's, learning. That, it's taking I, me a I mean, while to give me yeah, that. I'm slowly learning. That's what I tell uh the the people that subscribe to my picks on on instagram i tell them the same thing because people are like what do you got for this what do you got i'm like if i don't post it i'm not playing it and if you want to take games across the board every single game i said you're going to lose i said there's just no two ways about it you could go on a streak there's no question you could have a day where you clean up but if you do that routinely day after day you're gonna lose the odds are highly stacked against you i mean that's yeah, why you're fighting uphill you. battle from the yes, start yes you yes. know if you look to like where you really see where vegas makes their money like if you look at vegas for just like um like even a boxing match for instance or i've been watching with these ufc matches like it'll be minus 250 and then it'll be plus 175 to where if they could get even money on both sides you could see how they just clean up and you're right you're going to lose and the live betting is where they make the most money because people probably see that a team's up like six points with the free throw to go and like three minutes left and there'll be minus six and a half for that team and yeah, it's see, like there's I, I, during during basketball live betting is to me live betting during basketball is worthless because basketball is a game of runs so it's kind of but football to me live betting there's a lot of money to be made in football during live betting because once you really see how game flow is going and once you see what's working and what's not working it's such a different game it's so more it's so much more of a methodical game i feel like than basketball in terms of pace that I think you can make. I mean, I've made a lot of a lot of good plays on football live bets, but it's impossible to share those bets because they're literally you have like a certain amount of seconds to get it in because it changes the lines literally change from snap to snap. So it's impossible to really get those picks out. But I like in-game betting for football, not for basketball at all. Now, you, with something that we got to talk about, uh, Mikey V, we saw Dickie Gas in the car. Did you see Joe Dickie Gas in the car? Something that you are never going to win was he was doing the live Yeah, that is, that is an absolute degenerate oh, move to think man. that you have a leg up on the casino app for Blackjack on a book. That's one of the I sickest mean, things. You know, I tell you what, you know, <laughs> if you were born yesterday, you wouldn't you wouldn't do that. Uh, you Dick will tell you that he Dick will tell you he could beat the system, man. He'll tell you that he beat, beat the, the system. system. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I think too, like he was even playing blackjack, and I know this sounds kind of dumb and it, it's not a good look for me, but it, blackjack it, it it almost moves too fast for me. Like when you're oh, at the fast. table, it fast. is right, you know what I mean? Like with aces. Like you put an ace out there, I I'm not I can't calculate it fast enough to what you're getting on both sides and when the dealer's going on whether or not they're gonna bust. I can. I'm very fast. At you are. That. When it comes to that, Joe, when it comes to you on the craps table, or I would say that Joe on a craps table is like Perez on the golf course. Yeah, table games I don't like to play in a casino. Like if I go into a casino, I'll go to the sports book or I'll play poker, but poker takes a long time. I cannot play these fast. If I play a fast paced game like blackjack or some of these other like roulette, I'll just, I mean, I'll just blow all my money so quickly. I just, I'd rather, that's why yeah, sports betting, too. especially football is so <laughs> enjoyable. You put in the first half bet, you sit there, you put in a game bet, you sit there and it's just, you could kind of like watch it unfold and develop as opposed to, it's just such quick hitters with that. If you want a quick hitter, you bet like a quarter bet or you bet first half bet, but the casinos, especially the online, like I just don't trust the online casino. I don't either. Oh, the I online either. casino. No way. Yeah. I just don't trust it. You craps, know what, craps, if you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of money. You know what, what I me understand. and my dad but got into? They could still rig it, Mikey V. They could still rig Like, you have no idea to know. No, I'm talking about in person, in person craps table. I, oh, I, yeah, in person. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying on anything online. No. You know any of that shit. It's all yeah. rigged. You know what? It just kind of stresses me out just knowing that, A, 
they have such an advantage on you and they know they're going to take your money and B they wouldn't stop you from losing all your money to where if you just spiraled, I mean, nobody's going to be there and stop you. It's you against you and you're going to lose every time, every time, every time. Now, with that being said, by the way, shout out to our sponsor over at DraftKings, by the way, he <laughs> is just absolutely. Absolute, <laughs> well, if you want to play in an online was. casino where you're going to get the best odds, you're going to go over to DraftKings. <laughs> yeah, you because they're ass. the one legitimate casino <laughs> that is fair and square all the time. I, I can't get over the Joey D sweater, man. That thing is on. <laughs> thing is it's out. very warm, by the way, too. LA oh, I bet, is it is. Nice. <laughs> I bet it is. It's very it's fucking it's March. Very warm. It's March 20th. You're in Los Angeles. You don't need that sweater, do you? Well, if you've seen the weather in LA, lady. By the way, I got I got a bone to pick. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna save it for okay. I'm gonna save okay. it for my buy or sell. Sounds like a buy or sell. It. it sounds like a buy or sell to me, Joey D. Save it. Save it. I'm gonna save it for my bar or sell. Okay. By the way, Bob, you were in New York. You didn't. You didn't run into into Mikey V. I was there for literally a little over a day, and I will say, and I said to Mikey that it, it was it was weird going there and not being able to. Mikey see V, him. did you extend the cordial invitation to him? Well, no. I mean, he told me he was gonna be there, and he was like, I'm, "I got to do X, Y, Z." He goes, "Even my friends at home are breaking my balls." He goes, "I said it's so it's no problem." I said when we I, got uh, I forget what day. What day were you here? Saturday. Now, Saturday? something to keep an eye on, by the way, someone who wasn't as uh, understanding is Nikki Diamonds invited Bob out for a dinner while he was down in that area. And Bob said to him, quote unquote, I'll see if I can make time to fit you in my schedule. No, Joe, I did not message that's, me back and said, that's where this I young man is dead to me. Michael, <laughs> Michael, Michael. <laughs> then he said a picture. By let me explain. Let me explain. Me a something. But, there, there but you know, no, I did there, not say, let me see if I can fit you in my schedule. There, there is number one. Bob doesn't know what his own schedule is. That's number there one. You <laughs> go. Let's go. There you go. Number, number two, there is guilt. The levels of guilt are like normal person guilt, Italian mother guilt, and then Nikki Diamond's guilt, which is like the top tier of guilt. This guy will make you feel like you are this small. He does it to me all the time. He does it to me all the time. Enough. He <laughs> invites he me over. For, he invites me over for dinner the other night. I said calmly, I was like, "Listen, Holly's making corned beef and cabbage." He's like, oh, that's that's nice. That's nice. Okay, okay. He goes, well, how about the next night? I was like, why don't you come here Saturday night? I was like, because I invited Dickie Gas over to watch some of the March Madness on Saturday night. I already invited him. So I already invited him. So come here. He knows Dick. I say, come over here. Uh, you, uh, well, you know, I have people coming over throughout the day. So maybe I'll see you next year. Like, that's what he says. Like, maybe I'll make plans for you next year when the calendar opens up. The guilt is just unbelievable. <laughs> you know, Bob is dead to him. And then you have said, to laugh at it because he's not he serious. Sent me a but, but of with diamonds, you can't. Michael Corleone. And he said, How could you do this to me? You broke my heart. <laughs> well, first off, not that Bob would know because he didn't watch the never, video. I, the one guy you never want to upset, as we all know, is Nikki Diamonds. And I would never want to upset Nikki Diamonds. And I love Nikki Diamonds. With that being said, and I'm going to tread very uh, carefully here, but lightly. nothing, lightly. lightly, nothing, nothing bothers me more than when, like, one of my pet peeves is when you're out and yeah. you want to call it a night, or you can't, like, that's it, and and you want to be done, like, that's the end of the night, and somebody tries to guilt trip you into staying. When I yeah, say I that I want to go, yeah, I've I made the decision that it's yeah. that I want to go. So why yeah. would you want me there if I don't want to be there? Yeah, it's a fair question. It's you know what I mean? Yep. That always yep. bothers me. You know, you know me, Joey Day. I mean, that that was always something. So that the I bottom gave up line is, Nick, Nick, if you're listening, the bottom done, line is he, he, he didn't want to be there. So get no, out. no, no, no. Yeah, that's uh, that's <laughs> tough. That's tough. I did want to be there. No, but no, it's, no, it's, no. It's, look, if I ask Nicky Diamonds to fly all the way to L.A. for two nights, do you think he's going to fly all to L.A. for no, two nights? No, no, well, no, he's there. No, no, no. He doesn't need but I mean, you got New Yorker. He won't leave. The, he won't leave the county. Let alone the. Let alone the. <laughs> let alone That's the state. Crazy. He's not going to leave the crazy. county. Has he ever left the state of New York? State of New Jersey, or New Jersey? Uh, yeah, he's left to go to New York and come back to New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's about as as far as that goes. But yeah, the guilt. The guilt is a real thing, man. And I, you know, I I hate get, being guilted. I really. That's like. 
And that's funny you say that's a pet peeve. Like I, I really hate being guilted and I succumb to guilt so often because I really do like, I, I genuinely like get anxiety over it. And I'm like, Oh God. All right. All right. I will say though, Bob, you do like to call it early a lot. Yeah, yeah, but don't. Mama. Yeah, but don't. But but don't guilt trip me to where if if I want to go out, I want to go. You know, if I'm done, I'm done. Now I'm. I mean, I'm not guilt tripping. I'm just saying I could understand. Like you're a good time, people. I mean, you could t- you could look at it half glass, glass half full, glass half empty. Like it it kind of shows that people want you around because you're a good time. I mean, it's That's not true. exactly an insult. Yeah, no, I'll take that. I'm okay with that. I, I mean, Bob. I mean, you could start off early in the morning, and Bob will start in the morning, and he'll hang pretty much. I've seen Bob hang until two, three in the morning. I've seen that. I've That's seen that. very rare. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's an occasion thing, you know. And I think he recognizes that in some circumstances and delivers. You know. Now, what? on the other hand, when he calls it a night and he's ready for bed, he's ready for bed. But I and do I'll think go, I'll go till the end of the night. I do yeah, think that yeah, right. the time, the time that I'm there, I think I give it everything that I got to where I'm a lot of fun. That I make sure I'm pedal to the metal for the time that I'm there. Just what Perez pointed out was last time we were at the Attic Club, which this is kind of crazy, is that Perez said you're probably the only person to take an Uber home when we have a party bus to where I couldn't make it throughout the party bus. So we literally had a bus just for us, and I ended up Ubering instead of taking the bus back. Speaking of the polar opposite, Perez will never say no. No. Yeah, no, no, no. You get a few beers in Perez and you can get him to literally. <laughs> By the way, you could have him till next year if you wanted. You know, for a guy of, of his palate and what he eats, he was just saying, you know, the, his, his preferred water. It's pretty much the only water that he drinks. I got to get him Fiji water. That's why I got great, Fiji. It's a great water, though. It's great water. But at the same great time, water. too, I mean, for Perez, it's literally it's like the only water that he drinks. It's a top tier of water. Well, yeah. all you need is a Vito's pizza, and you'll keep them there for the next two weeks. I mean, that's yes, easy enough. I mean, yes, have you yes, seen yes, some of the pizza this guy's got to eat in yeah. Virginia? I yes, think it. he's got, like, ownership ties in Vito by now, Bob. The last time he was here, <laughs> I think he was there every single day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really hit it hard. <laughs> he really, really hit it hard. He did. God bless him. God bless him. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliantly Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliantly Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends over at BetterHelp.com. Life doesn't always go the way you want to, and it doesn't come with a user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. That's why BetterHelp.com is here. BetterHelp.com matches you with a licensed therapist. They have matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable, and you don't have to go to a doctor's office or go to some type of building. You could do it all from the comfort of your new home, of your home. You can't go wrong when you go with betterhelp.com. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash BDS. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash BDS, betterhelp.com. Change your life today for the better. All right, fellas. Well, let's go into our buy or sell segment here. And Joey D, it looked like you had a buy or sell there out of the gate. So let's head it on over to you, Joey D. All right, here's my here's my sell. I'm selling it right now. I'm selling the fact that I'm paying 40% state tax to live in this fucking California, Los Angeles. And they say it's a sunshine tax, all right? I haven't seen sunshine in LA in about three weeks. It has been, I don't know when I signed up to be in Seattle, but that's exactly what we're getting. I don't want to hear the word drought again because it has rained. It has been cloudy. It has been miserable. It has been awful. It has been cold. And I'm still paying the 40% state tax. And I don't know why. That's why I'm wearing sweaters that apparently look terrible. But I'm telling you right now, if LA weather doesn't wake up and get its act together, I'm going to throw a fit because my golf is starting to get impacted. A lot of things are, why are you guys cringing? It's a, it's a fact. People live here for the weather. Bob, so who are you selling? What are you selling? Bob? You what, know? what are you selling? I'm selling this. I'm I'm selling the sunshine tax. What I'm selling. I'm selling the hard. <laughs> okay. It's I went looking. to Florida for one week. It's... It was glorious. I normally shit on Florida weather all the time. I was in Jacksonville. It was beautiful. I come back here. It's like I'm in freaking miserable, cloudy rain. Like just it's just not nice. 
And it's that's in- fine. Like if you're, you know, I, if I'm living in, in Washington, in Seattle, that's fine. But like, I'm living in, in, in the you highest. Demand, you demand tax. more from the atmosphere. The atmosphere owes you. Somebody said that the government's regulating the weather patterns now. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Come I thought on. I thought we Come touched on. on the conspiracy theory thing. That's too. an awful that was, one. By That's the way, that was one. that was one of my favorite when you sold the conspiracy theories, Mike V. That was one of my favorite oh. cells. That was a great sell, by the way. No, uh, yeah, like listen, I, I, the listen I know there are some yes, real conspiracy theories. There are some real conspiracy theories out there, but like if someone was trying to pitch that to me that the government's controlling the atmosphere, yeah, like, the Gulf Stream, they use their yeah, see, I can't. It. That I, I will say outside of the drought that we have. You could say what you want about California. Weather-wise, it is you can never beat California weather. It'll always be. Well, no, it's and been that's, bad. that's the thing is, in the last month, we've had more rain than I've seen in four years. Biblical. Yeah, maybe maybe the end times are coming. Yeah, I, don't know. I tell you what, man. A lot of <laughs> a lot of signs are point, pointing to the end. I got to be honest, bro. I got like, the, I got they, the they really on my sweater here. Maybe this is just prophetic right now, Mike V. Yeah, it could be. Could be. By the that way, looks Joe, like some kind of world-ending creature on there. <laughs> we we still have to do the fireball challenge to where we still have to go back to try and conquer the fireball challenge. What is the challenge again? We had to do uh, nine holes, eighteen right. shots of fireball. And oh. Joe, correct me if I'm wrong. Collectively, those collectively, each? no, collectively. Oh, no, I was no, gonna, no, I was no, gonna no. say, come on. But Joe, correct me if I'm wrong. But the the shots that we were doing, if you watch the fireball, they were like the we double doing, ones, yeah. Yeah, or even if they were in double, they were definitely over whatever a regular shot would have been. Regular shot is four ounces, I believe. All right, that might yeah, be they wrong. were not might, the regular mini ones. Ounces. We got we went I gotta Google somewhere that. before and picked them up, and they were like bigger than the normal ones, and we were lamb basted, Mikey V. It was bad. Uh, Jet had to take of care of us. Was all, was I was way off. One point five ounces. One point five ounces. Yeah, these shots. things had a little. I mean, there was definitely a little extra to it, to where that had to be more. Than what we did. That and was you know the same what? night, Bob, when when Kansas City played the Bills and Jet had money on the Bills and they scored a touchdown with 13 seconds left. I'm like, Jet, he hit. It's over. And he yeah. fucking lost it. Yeah, he him. lost his mind and he did not let you hear the end. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, though, Joey, he's watching you here in the sweater. I mean, you talk about coming full circle. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe this is, by the way, the good folks at Fireball, they, they they will supply us with whatever we need. Mikey V, don't give me that picture. Well, yeah, here's yeah, what I'm gonna say. Here's 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 what I'm gonna say. And let's remember when Klondike sent me a care package with the ugly sweater and I got completely lambasted. <laughs> oh, Mike EB, you get, you, 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 you're, you're coddling the Klondike. Yeah, you're snipping up the I'm bear's not, ass on the Klondike. But now you got a fucking sweater. It looks like Hulk Hogan blew it out his fucking nose and he's fucking, yeah, there it is. It looks absolutely but, preposterous. It's not Christmas time, and you're wearing this fireball. And by the way, a million people DM'd me about that unboxing because they were like, "What is what is all this stuff that Cuts got? If the fireball, the one backpack looked like they just stitched on some kind of logo on the top." Of it. Whoa, 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 he shits on everything. Oh, it was oh, like with cousins. Oh, when Mikey oh, B didn't have man. cousins, cousins were the worst. God forbid cousins. No, then he gets the box cousins. from cousins. Always and loved like, cousins. Never said a bad thing. He didn't want cousins. to go to Maine. I always wanted to go to Maine. You didn't want to go to Maine. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I always did. wanted to go to Maine. By Number way, one, you did savage the only the Maine thing, trip. The only thing I said about cousins, which to this day people still will complain about, is the line at the trucks. That's all I complained about. I didn't oh, say yeah, cousins. Yeah, yeah, the, until until they sent you the Brady band. Said... The Brady band. The Brady band can go fuck themselves. <laughs> all yeah, I think respect. they're done. By the way, they, I think yeah, the Brady yeah, band. Yeah, well, they sure are done because they don't respect their potential customers. That's why. But you know That's what, though, Mikey, you did you did bash the cousins main line. Oh, I did bash. not bash. You did. did. Yes, you did. Absolutely. I don't you recall because he absolutely did. And the second they did send him that package, that was great. Package. They did, they did. And you know another thing that I will say too, I got my own golf line that 
I don't promote. Roback gets more promotion than Breezy gets on promotion as well. Something that I do want. Yeah, to there's out a lot there of shameless well. plugs going on but in this episode. Also, wait, too, what? What? Don't don't put it by. Don't wait, wait, wait. How did Roback get involved in this conversation? With plugs, how many times do we bring up Roback? Oh, yeah. Rather than me Only bringing subs, up my own line. Roback. Yeah, for sure. It's. It's, I don't bring that is. up. You guys bring that up. I don't bring no. that up. take full advantage when we do. You sure do, Mikey. Well, I mean, <laughs> Roback, as you can see, it stands out. It's a nice-looking shirt. Bob, Very I remember nice shirt. Cousin sent me the package first. Then they sent you the package, and he said, like, these scumbags. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say scumbags. And then I call everybody a scumbag. No, we brought on, not Sabine. We brought on what's Jimmy. Jimmy Claus. Jimmy. And then Sabine didn't show. He went at it with him. Sabine showed up on Bear Down with Alex Brown. Yeah, but he didn't show it in the podcast. I was just throwing that out. He did not. Yes, he did That being said, Bob, you did sabotage the main trip. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I did. I didn't want to we're not. By the, the way, that that's, that's still, 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 that's still there out there. Ground. It's on the table. Dude, I, yeah, it's on the table, Bob. It's on the table. Do you know the only reason what you said that, that I would take it just with the beating that I took uh, because of it, and I owned I up think, to it. I well, think if we go out to if we go out to Maine, I'm sure it's a great spot. But what are we going to do? We're just going to throw Here's traps we're gonna out do. there we're and bring lobsters. Have you ever been on a lobster boat, Bob? Haven't you watched Deadliest Catch? Now I know that's Alaskan King Crab, but are we splitting hairs here? It's a crustacean. Uh, uh, well, I'll take a Alaskan crustacean. King Crab over lobster. Well, I mean, not the way Cousins prepares lobster. It's delicious. Yeah, Cousins fair. does it right. Fair. We fair. catch I our like We go out to Maine. We go out to Maine. Nice spring weather, summer weather. We go on a lobster boat. We catch our own lobster. We cook it. We have a couple cocktails. Go golfing with the, oh, with the it owner. Phenomenal. Uh, Perez on a lobster boat. Oh, that might be something special that there, Bob. Amazing. Bigger picture, Bob. Bigger picture. I don't know why we got to sell them on this. No, yeah, I, I, I'm sold. Look, with with the amount of also too, everybody actually said that Maine is really really nice. I, I might nice have spoken too soon on Maine, where I really didn't. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know much about it, but I at the same time too, I think there'd be some good content, but just to have the whole content on the boat the whole time. I think we do got No, it have... wouldn't be solely on the boat, but no. the boat would be a big highlight. That would be a big highlight. I think us on a lobster boat not knowing what us the fuck we're doing. Although I kind piece. of know what I'm doing because I've been around lobster my whole life, so I'd be very acclimated quickly. That's what I believe. Uh, I think that, by way, that really is a, that's a Joey D comment. I've been around lobster. I've been around lobster. I've been cleaning lobsters. Well, no, I will give him this one. He's got pictures of lobsters for fucking years. <laughs> yes, thank you, Joe. And <laughs> some of them are bigger than I am. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And by the way, one of the most famous athletes of all time hails from Maine. It's a feast of the seven fishes. Yes. Who's that? Julie the cat Gaffney from from Mighty Ducks. Yes, Julie the cat Gaffney from D two Mighty Ducks. Bangor, Bangor Maine. Maine. Yep, yep. Now Bob has never seen DP. Oh, wow. It sucks. See, that's the shit that sucks. That that sucks being out on that. that and that that's a fun. sports movie, How Bob. So that's... Mighty Ducks? Wait, so long you've never seen of... Mighty Ducks? Okay. Long time ago. By the way, another Bobby the second, Blockbuster. Yeah, the second one is a great sequel. Second one's better. I think it is too. I really do think it is also. The Team USA in the Junior the Olympics. Bash Brothers. Really good. Yeah, Fulton Reed yeah. and, Re- yep. and, uh, yep. and uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Dean Portman. Dean Portman. Yes. yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Pick up. Thank okay. You. So Joseph sold Mother Nature. Okay. Joseph has sold Mother Nature. I, I sold the sunshine tax. You Bob. sold Mother Nature, Joe. That it is what it is. That's fine. Yeah. Sold Mother Nature. You sold Mother Nature. Stick with it. Stick with it, Joe. Fuck him. Fuck Mother uh, Nature. I'm gonna sell. And I almost think this is kind of an obvious sell with the way that this is going. And I tried to watch a little bit of it. Um, this weekend, man, I, you know, I was curious how the whole live golf thing would pan out. I try, I really, really tried to watch it this weekend a little bit and check out Chase Kepka came on the, on Bob to sports. And I like pulling for him, um, and rooting against Brooks. Um, and it just, uh, it just is so it's hard to watch, man. I mean, it, it really is. It's, is it, have you seen it at all, Joe? Have you watched it? I haven't watched it. What is it on the CW network or something it, like that? I, I wanted to give it a shot. I mean, you got some of the best guys in the world on there right now. It, I don't know what the change is. I don't know what the answer is. I think maybe they go. I think it'd be fun to watch if it's an individual. I think golf is meant to be an individual game, an individual sport. I don't like the team aspect of it, but the whole production of it too right now, maybe they make some changes. It's a tough watch, man. And I really gave it an honest shot. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to. I mean, I'm not going to. They're catching with you. their their format has caught a lot of criticism though. Like in terms yeah, of like they team spent, play, they spent all the. Well, what I saw is I read a couple of things that they spent so much money on giving to the players and and how much money the purses are, and they cut corners with like camera crews and coverage and yeah. like how they actually film it and how it's actually being broadcasted. That's where they cut their corners. Which is, really Mikey stu- Mulligans. which is really stupid, I would I would think, because any PGA Tour event that you watch on, on CBS uh, or NBC, wh- wh- whichever channel it's on, the final Sunday, usually they do a really good job of bouncing around from golfer to golfer, and I think the graphics are good, and it's, it's pretty, I wouldn't say it's easy to follow, but, you know, for somebody like me who's not as acclimated to the game, I could still follow it pretty easily. Go ahead, Joey D. I think it needs to be brought up while we're talking golf. Mikey Mulligan's made an appearance. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. And Bob, I think you and I are in agreement. He's going to be better than us in, in about two Yeah, months. the swing was not bad at all. Man. <laughs> first, my, first first my elbow broke, though. It's not good. It was not oh. ready to look at that. Like my elbow, the, the front elbow. My elbow has been breaking since. Yeah, I, I tell you I what, bro, I'm having time. trouble trying to keep the elbow straight. I really am. Like, I really, uh, and people, people, by the way, by the way, I, this might be my sell. Can I just sell, Bob? <laughs> sure, sure. All right, I'm going to sell. Now, I had oh, a sell originally in line with Bob, but Bob, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to stoop so low as to talk about some dirtbag scumbag talking about God knows why. I'm not even going to stoop to that level. This is a goofy Good for you, moment, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm not going to, I'm not going to stoop that I am I am I am selling the fact that there apparently is 10,000 to 20,000 golf instructors on Instagram that Oh I yeah, know welcome to our world, Mikey. Yeah, but I'll yeah, say it's, this. It's I want to say this before before I go before I go in on the on the very few on the very small minority. The overwhelming majority and reception and engagement I got off the swing video was unbelievable. I couldn't even, I was saying to my wife, I said, I can't believe these people think that this swing was like a decent swing or good. I said, I can't believe it. I said, to me, I'm watching it and it looks so like, I look so tight. And that's going to be another issue for me is like being loose and not as stiff. Because when I look at it, I look stiff and I know I got to, I'm going to have to work on it, work on it. The overwhelming majority response was great, but I got to tell you, bro, everybody and their mother has an opinion on what you should do this and your elbow should be this and the way you're hunched over this and the way you're standing here and the front pressure on this leg and the back pressure on this leg and the weight distribution on the front shouldn't be equal to the weight distribution on the back and try pivoting this hip. Equilibrium of the parallel. Bro, bro, and I'm just sitting there and I'm trying to consume all of this, but at the same time, I've made a decision. I'm only listening to three people, three people. My instructor, right. who I'm going to have classes with, m- a couple more before I go on a course. I said I'm going to do four lessons minimum and range time. Perez, obviously. And then I've entrusted Fubi Lou to the chagrin of Dickie Gass because Dickie Gass and Fubi Lou, if you get them in a room by themselves, they will talk about the other person as a horrible golfer, but vice versa. So who's right, who's wrong, I don't know. Right, yeah, but Fubu took time ball. to bring you out there. He showed you the Fubu ropes. Fubu was a magnificent, magnificent yeah, friend he on be, Saturday. He really I had a good read on him, he by really the way, was. too, and I took a lot of heat about that, but I think he's he's a good guy to bring he's, you in. He, he, him and Dick are both throw away the mold type of guys, but Dick is like very like, Dick's patience is very, very thin. Well, then very use Dickie Gas, too. Those are the guys you want in your corner. I'll tell oh, you what, Mike, me too to have. But I'm selling the the online the online golf instructors. You're not oh. a golf instructor. Don't try to pitch. That would be like if I played the game for a year and saw some guy put up a swing video, and I started. I would never have the balls to ever do that. But people don't care. People Mikey, don't care. to have the we presence body of bag. mind to start off by going with an instructor, because like I wish when I started that that's what I did to have the presence oh, of mind. Me too. To open out of the gate with an instructor is very impressive. It, it really, really, it's a, and it it's shows such a commitment. Play, yeah, it's a you play to make too. It's a smart, smart play. Well, like the guy said, said to me, he goes, he goes, listen, I'd rather have you who hasn't swung a club in twenty plus years than a guy who's coming here that's played for fifteen years, the last fifteen years, and has habits that they just refuse to break, or it's a lot tougher to break. You know what you're like I'm going out there. I'm a blank canvas. This guy's like Bob Ross. Yes, happy trees. 
That's what he's Mikey, doing. you're like that pot of clay at the beginning of the ghost movie. That you're like molding. Like I'm malleable. Mold I'm very something. malleable right now. I am a hardened statue. There's no chance of remolding me. Mikey, I mean, you're hitting golf me. balls off fireball whiskey uh, airplane <laughs> bottles, Joe. Just That's curious, restless. Mikey B. How, yeah. how much you pay for a lesson? Like, what's a lesson cost? So this lesson, I mean, I don't know if I should divulge this. No, but no, anyway, say uh, it, say it. All right, okay. so, well, you know, me and Fu both technically, I guess, took a lesson. Technically. He only charged us for one, which I thought was very classy. Move. Oh, no wonder why Fubu brought him, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he was a good friend. Well, how about lesson. this, though? Listen to this. Fubu was ready to pay for both lessons. He took out his credit card. I said, bro, I said, bro, you're not fucking paying. For That's outrageous. Then the guy goes, listen, I'm only charging you for one. Fubu still paid. For my lesson, and when I tried to Venmo him, I Venmoed him money, and he sent it back. He said, "It's my gift to you. I'm so happy good that you're starting to play." Good for him. Class act. So Class you know what? Act. He is a good friend. I like Fubu. Always have. Yeah, Fubu. Fubu's good people. Fubu right. gets it, man. He really does. I think he played he does. Pine Valley too. Good for him. Yeah, he plays really nice places. He's he's got some hooks. But Fubu's how, got some hooks. How much was the lesson, Mike? If you just had a cur- honest curiosity. Well, so the le- the lesson is 125 dollars for an hour. Yeah, that's on par, Bob. I, I yeah I really don't know I really don't know it was know. It, was, it was 125 dollars for the hour so I tried to even then at that point when the instructor said I'm only going to charge you for one I did the math I said all right let me send Fu 70 dollars if it was 70 dollars each he refused he kicked the Venmo back to me he sent it back wow. it tip of the cap Fubulu yeah, absolutely good stuff yeah I mean keep keep firing in the videos of that Mikey if we can if we can send the ticket oh I'd by, like and by the way I absolutely I was. It was so enjoyable. It was so enjoyable. The weather, it was cold. Don't get me wrong. It was cold and windy, but the sun was out. There was no one else there. It was very much a serene, tranquil experience. Very organic. When you hit a good one, too, and it goes straight. Oh, bro, I did that. I want to say I hit about 100 balls, and I want to say maybe five went straight and really, like, good distance. And even the instructor was like, that's it. That's it. And when that happened, I was like, wow. I was like, this is, <laughs> I could see how that becomes very addicting. Yes. You're going to get the bug, Mikey V, for sure. I, I think, and by I have, the way, I think I have the, the engagement when you post that golf stuff is going to go through the roof. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, people seem to love it. I mean, I could understand why, though, because I think it's something that everybody does, everybody likes that, that at, nobody, I don't think anybody that does it isn't like somewhat obsessed with it. That's what I'm going to say. Like, I don't think people just do it to like, as like a like a fling, I think people either really are all in on it or they don't do it at all. I I'd be shocked, Mikey, if you don't go full commitment. I think you go all. Oh, I'm I'm going for it. Yeah, I am. I am. I mean, I'm going to do the lessons. I'm not even going to step foot on a course until I until I get the lessons in and some more range time, and then I'll go out and Dick will Dick Dicky Gas will you know he'll be get very aggravated with me and yell at me, and I'll have to deal with it. That's all. Um, okay. and again, for those of you watching on the YouTube right now, if you can like comment on the youtube video uh five stars for it keep the boys rolling keep the brown and i'm show rolling uh, moving right along here we'll do bobby blockbusters and then we will do top five ford versus ferrari it was a plain watch I watched it on the plane back from new york on my phone which by the way i don't think it's the worst I'll say I really, this, I Joe. Think- I, I'll say this. You're you're holding your head. I will say this. Watching it on the phone is a better move than watching it on the airplane TV because the phones now, at least if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you're getting a 4K picture on the phone. The airplane TV is that that technology. Airplane TV is as bad as it gets. Yeah, it's as bad as it gets. Well, it's like the can- TV in your mom's kitchen when you were a little kid, the 13 inch little box. Yes, that's yeah, what it's, it's terrible. It's setting up for failure. Yeah. I get that. Yeah, it was the perfect time, though. It really was. It was the perfect time well, for me to do it. Somebody then. needs five K to watch the movie. That doesn't yes, help. Yes, of course. Of the gate. Yes, of course. Look, I first off, I love Christian Bale. Christian Bale. There's no the way you didn't like this movie. Don't tell me you didn't like it. There's no I, way. I, I you gotta love my, Matt Damon. How can you not love Matt Damon? I thought the movie was very long. First off, I'm not a big car guy. Okay, I'm. Oh, I'm really oh. not. And I know. I know you don't. To watch that movie and enjoy, you don't have to love. I'm not a car guy, so cars don't really interest me. Um, 
Like if I had all the money in the world, I'd have no interest in a Ferrari. I don't want that type of attention. I don't want that type of responsibility. I'm not a car guy. I thought it was very long, unnecessarily long. And um, it, it just, first off, the ending stunk. What a ridiculous ending, by the way, to go through all of that and then slow down so that they could get the picture only to find out that it turns out that he didn't. W- I thought the ending was terrible. Okay. I really did. Okay. Um, I, by no means was it the worst movie that I've ever seen, but a long movie. And if, if, if it's going to be a long movie, I got to be in it the whole way. I'm being honest. Cause look, Rotten Not Tomatoes. Not a car guy. I'm not a car guy, but with, car with Rotten guy. Tomatoes, I mean, by I mean, the way. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize you had to be a fucking auto mechanic to watch the movie. No, I don't think that's fair, though, Joey D. I, I don't think that's fair. Look, maybe this is one of the ones where I'm the problem. Bob, you've watched Cool Runnings. You're not a you're not a bob. That's a bobsled. That's a bobsled. Yeah, I see. What you're, uh, I mean, just, the, the device cool was named more, after him. Cool Runnings is more than just bobsled, though, and it, it's what? more what. It's more than just bobsledding, though. Cool Runnings has a little bit of a... It's about a Jamaican bobsled team. Bob. Yo, there was yeah, so John, much... Can- John Candy is in it, though. There was so much technicality with the with the cars in, in this. Um, there really was. It was very, very technical the whole way through. Um, All right, what's the bagel rating? I would give it a four bagel. I was gonna say he's gonna say four. He's gonna. I would. I would give it. It didn't. This is so bad. I'm being honest. Look, I told you that I I didn't mind Gran Torino. This one, this was a hard watch for me. This really was. I don't even get upset anymore. All right, no, you shouldn't. No, I'm not moving on. Shouldn't. Joe, what movie do we have lined up? Well, no, I want to hear about Prisoners. No, I didn't see Prisoners. I think we're not doing the Jet thing. I said to watch the Jet one and then to 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 put it up against ours. I. By no, the way, you would have no. hated Prisoners. By the way, I watched it this week. You want to talk long movies? That movie is longer. Did you not like it? Week. I've seen it before. It's just, I wanted to. I wanted to watch it again to gauge your your overall consensus, which you didn't end up watching it. But like, it's it's a long watch. It's well, yeah. I wanted to watch your guys' movies. The Jet thing got debunked so hard that I didn't think that I needed to watch Prisoners. And now that you said it's that long, um, but again, if it's going to be a long movie, fine. But that. It just it didn't happen. With that being said, the I mean, Bobby Blockbusters is getting tougher by the week. It's this look, is what do you it's, got? It's, this it's week, becoming which? like it's like it's like trying to like give math to a monkey and 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 you know it's it's. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Joseph. I, pre- I I'm appreciate. I'm not saying you're a monkey. I'm saying it's a lot. That's good. Yeah. Thank you very much, Joe. But by the way, I said that I liked Gran Torino last week. Uh, yeah, but you said you it was it not that six? great. You said you gave it like Clint Eastwood was nothing yeah, special. Okay. Look, Green Book, you All give right. me another. I have yeah, a movie green, for you. Love speak. fucking Green Book. Love and I am, I am guaranteeing book. a seven plus B. Wow. See, that's that's that big. Okay. This is a good this, movie. I, I'm, I'm going to see this right now, Mikey. If this one doesn't hit, I'm taking I'm taking a sabbatical. I'm yeah, taking it's definitely not a long movie. Definitely not a long movie. That's for sure. I think it's this a good movie, hour and a half. He says he's not a car guy or whatever. You know what he is? He's a food guy. And yeah. that is what I'm giving him. I'm giving him a movie that is strictly based around food and the love of food oh. and everything to do with food. I'm throwing in Scarlett Johansson in the movie. I'm throwing in Sofia Vergara in the movie. John I'm Favreau. giving you a movie that I can't see him not liking. I can't. The movie I'm giving you John Favreau, unbelievable in it. Chef is the name of the movie. Chef. And it is absolutely a delightful watch. I I know how much you love food. You watch Guy Fieri and your food trucks and everything. Watch. This is in your wheelhouse. I would be shocked if I don't get a seven plus bagel review out of Bobby. Mikey V. Any yeah, it's a, good, it's a it's a it's a really it's a very good confident. Movie. It's a good movie. It's a good quick there's hitter. Twitter it in really it, is. there's it really social is. media, there's shit. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's in your wheelhouse. All right. It's very oh, confident. By the way, that, that's a good idea for next week, Joe. That's a real good, real good idea. Have you seen Social Network, Bob? Love the it. Facebook yeah. story? Loved it. Yeah. See, this, that, is, this is why it's hard, This man. is why he, every movie that he likes is yeah. he watched. And I it. knew he would like that. So that should, that should count for something. 
Love well, how many movies, movies have we suggested? Last week it was Catch Me If You Can. And but Joe, what do you want me? What do you want me to lie? I mean, what do you want me to lie? You want me to come on here and lie if I don't like it? I'm not saying that. I'm saying we should be getting some partial marks. Look, I'm not going to sit here. If I don't like the movie, I'm not going to sit here and come on and say that I like the movie. By the way, you got roasted in the comments for last week but so we gave bad suggestions. Did you see that, Mikey yeah, we got a lot. Yeah, yeah. we got a I lot mean, of support. Look, yeah, we did. But because every week we do give movies that you have seen and loved, and it's like then we got to. But gotta, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm that. I'm not I, asking you, know, you to lie. I'm saying, Bob, when you say that we've given you bad suggestions, and at least once a week we give you a movie that you say you've loved and have already watched, it's it's not exactly easy for us. And you're yeah, no, it's not easy. So Bob thinks that we just. No, I'm not saying that it's easy, though, but I do think that there is a lot out there, as we know, that I haven't seen that well, three can quarters hit. of it you don't want to watch. No, I'm, look, whatever you've given to me, Joe, I'm watching. All right. so I mean, I'm just saying you have... Chef, I think you'll like Chef, Bob. I do. I, I think it's a Chef quick is hitter. A winner. I, yeah. I, I think it is a short... It's not a... I don't want to say it's a short movie, but I, I do remember it not being long, which is good. Uh, 2014, which is great for Bob. Rated R, comedy drama, which is yeah. great for Bob. It is an hour. And it's 54. 114. It's minutes. a little bit longer. It's an hour 54 minutes, but that's not that's not outrageous. Two hours. Fine with that. I got no okay. issue with that at okay. all. It's less than two hours. It's 114 minutes. It's 154 minutes. I just looked it up. It's, yeah. Chef I got, movie. I got no one hour. And by the way, I'm here. 114 minutes. I got I got chef comedy drama one hour fifty. Do we have minutes. the same? Do we have the same movie? Yeah, two thousand fourteen comedy drama, right, Joe? Yeah, there's Favreau yeah, in look, the preview. On. One hour fifty four minutes. Hey, ticket here, producer of the show. Hour fifty four, hundred and eighteen minutes. Same fucking thing. Exact same fucking thing. I mean, there's no difference. That was tough to listen to. Back to the show. I was gonna say that I. It sounds he's very confident in it that I think it's going to be good, but at the same time, Joey, Dave, I think you're. I if think I don't like it, it you can't throw a fit every single time that I don't like it or that I've seen one where I can't come on here a lot. Yeah, it might give you an hour and fifty four minutes. It's less than two hours. Yeah, hour and fifty four. Yep. Then it's then it's it, it's it's exciting. It's it's got to where if you're if you're that confident in it. Maybe it does hit. The show did so well that they based a cooking show off of it on Netflix. And he cooks with different chefs Saturday. like Wolfgang Puck and different things like that. It's very. That's the food truck show, right? Or no? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Bob, it, let me, it is a good movie, Bob. This is a good movie. I mean, this is a movie where this is the type of movie where I don't know anybody that could watch this movie and be like, oh, my God, I really didn't like that movie. Yeah. I, mean, I, no. I don't know. I don't know anybody. There's nothing to not like about it. The Ford Ferrari, I, I, as much as I may not agree with, I could see it's too long. He's not a car guy. Like this, there's nothing he's not going to like about it. I don't see there's anything he can't not like about it. I, I just don't see that. Again, I don't see anybody being able to watch this movie that's not that long of a movie. It's not a big ask. It's funny. It's it's modern. It's new. There's nobody that could come out of that movie and be like, oh, this was terrible. Like, no way. No way. I guarantee a six bagel, minimum six bagel. Now, Joe said seven, but I don't know. Bob is so difficult sometimes. I say six bagel minimum score, which honestly, at this point, anything six or above. I, I would say I would to say it's for. tough to guarantee the seven bagel is is a big. That's a big. I, that's a big seven. play. I we could do six and a half. Seven to we eight did get bagels. half bagels. Okay. Eight bagels. Well, well, we got eight bagels on Green Book. I thought we got nine bagels on Green Book. No, it was eight. Nine was bagels eight, is like eight bagel on Green Book. I, it, I think Green Book. I don't Green know Book if we'll was. Ever get it. I'm pretty sure Green Book was eight. It was eight, minimum it was eight. eight. I thought it was almost a nine, but that's that's my 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 fault. Okay, nine is been, nine. I thought Bob it was like climbing. Mountain. You know, as it may. I thought it was eight. Okay, um, let's keep it on rolling here, fellas. Top five. Mm. Today's top five is going to be an interesting one. I don't think that lists are going to be too similar. Uh, you can't really go wrong with these. Um, but let's let it rip. This is going to be top five jingles. Let's start with Mikey V. Now, I would say that a, a funny rule, I think it would be funny. I think it would be funny if we demanded that each each of us would have to sing a part of the jingle. Okay. Yeah. That. Okay. Number five, Mentos. 
I don't know how it goes. Mentos better, Mentos fresh and full of life. Mentos, <laughs> the fresh maker. I like that rule. Now, now that was the one with the commercial where the guy sits on the bench before a big job interview, and he gets the paint, the wet paint stripes on his suit. It's the most ridiculous commercial ever. And he looks at the painter that's doing the painting and the painter just shakes his head like, what do you want from me, pal? And the guy proceeds to roll his entire body on the bench to make it a pinstripe suit. And Mentos was responsible for that. But yeah, by the way, there's really really no wrong answers here, by the way. No, there's some great jingles. Mentos is a great jingle. Number four, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Good for you. Good for you. Folgers at four. Three, I don't want to grow up. Want to be a Toys R Us kid. Okay. I don't know who remembers the Toys R Us commercials, okay. but I sure as shit do because every time it came on TV, I wanted to get a toy when I was a kid. Toys R Us kid, number three. Number two, Nationwide is on your side. Hatchy, that, that, yes. That's a, that's a very good one. And then number one, I think the king of all jingles because of how well it was performed and how it was. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, back, Mm -hmm. back. Chili's baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. I think that's number one. That's number one on my list is Chili's baby back ribs. I thought that that was a slapper. I, I, again, this is a type of list where I don't, I really don't think you can have a wrong list. Now I didn't go first and I I have two of yours in the same list here. So I'll probably take some heat for that Mikey V, but that's what I had. That's fine. Folgers, Folgers in your cup at five was awesome. Um, Always caught. I had Folgers at five. Number four, short, sweet, to the point, not a long one. It's just an iconic one. McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. All day long. It just just has always hit for the longest time. Um, I got that there. Next up, I had – what am I on? Three or two? Three. Three. Number three, one that I absolutely loved. Do you remember Foxwoods Casino? Oh, yeah. Meet me at Foxwoods. Foxwoods. Yeah, take a chance. Make it happen. Pop the cork, fingers snapping. Spin the wheel. wheel, Round round and round we go. go. Life is good. Life Life is is sweet. sweet. Grab yourself a front row seat. seat. And And let's meet for the wonder. Foxwoods Casino. That's a great jingle. Was Money, Money jingle. absolutely yep. money. Um, and then I got uh, JG Wentworth number two. That's tremendous. Was That's tremendous. Yeah, the best. I have a structured settlement, but I need cash now. That JG hit JG Wentworth. Wentworth. It's it's cash now. Uh, Again, I don't think you could really have the wrong answers. JG Wentworth. Oh, hits. you can. You can. There's one. If I hear from anybody, I will just. I'll. I'll say you should be thrown off the show. And really? It's a very common one. Yep. And All right. Keep your head on a swivel, Joey D, because I got chilies at one. So you can't deny that. Um, okay. Being that you had it, nope. give me chilies at one. Well, they actually showed a clip I saw on TikTok of them making that chilies commercial. It's unbelievable. Fucking hysterical too. They're in a studio. It's unbelievable. The best. Guys. It's yep. the best. Yeah. And chilies at one, Joey D. We send it over to you. All right, and number five, I, I I toggled with the Folgers, but you guys both have it, so I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go Liberty Mutual. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Liberty. Yeah. Liberty. It's going to play. Everybody, Everybody one. hears that. You just Good know one. what it is. That's yeah. my number five. And number four, give me a break. Give me a break. Kit Kat bar. Break it's good. Off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I mean, Great that's one. number four. Yep. That's iconic to me. It is. Um, and number three, I got a Mikey V one, which I'm shocked. He didn't do. What would you do for nah. a Klondike? Oh, <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it's it. Really good. Klondike about at number three. Uh, and number two, I have another one that you guys have. Nationwide is yeah. on your side. Yeah, tough to beat that. It and really then number is. one, I, I, Bob had it, but I think it's just it's it's everywhere and it's become like this whole thing. It's the McDonald's one. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Like I. I don't think it's like the most catchy thing, but it's just synonymous with McDonald's. It is synonymous. And yeah. now they've changed it. It used to be like more of a jingle. Now they got this like old Morgan Freeman voice. It goes, <laughs> bah, 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 bah. <laughs> like, you know, they've kind of tweaked it a little bit, but I, I remember when they first did it was with the Justin Timberlake. I'm loving it. Bah, 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 bah. So that's my number one. 
Mike, you don't like the you don't like the McDonald's jingle. It's not that I don't like it. I just I'm just McDonald's has been resting on their laurels for a very long, long oh, time. Well, I've been saying that. that for years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Honorable now the now the one tune I'm glad nobody said because the most annoying jingle. Number one, if we were doing reverse top five worst jingles of all time, number one has to be um uh cars for kids. Cars for kids is oh, the yeah, it's worst true. that's most annoying terrific. fucking jingle. If I could sell, if I could resell, buy and sell, I would sell the fucking one eight hundred cars for kids jingle because it is horrific, horrible. Get rid of it. I never want to hear it again. It's and terrible. By the way, not many people have a car just to donate. Every time it's I absurd. would get it, you know what I mean. That's such a rare ask. It's a real racket. That whole thing yeah. is a racket, especially if you're not a car guy. By the way, I'm with Joe on the Kit Kat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's exactly Kit, right. Kit Kat was a strong play. For Kit me. Kat's a great play. Give me Kit Kat honorable match. I thought Mikey V would oh, do the good. Klondike. I thought you'd show love to Klondike. No, I'm going to do a very obscure honorable mention, and probably I don't even know if anyone will know it, but there was a there was this old transmission company. So if you had to get a transmission change on your car, now obviously no one even knows what that is anymore, but the name of the brand was Lee Miles. And the jingle, if you could look it up on YouTube, if you're listening, I promise it's worth your time. It was one of the most melodic, best jingles you'll ever hear. And it was like, get me to Lee Miles, da, 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 the most trusted name in transmissions. Get me to Lee Miles. <laughs> it was just so good. So good. I look forward to it when it came on the radio, but Lee Miles is probably no more, but that would be my honorable mention. Lee Joey Day, honorable mention. I'm going to do one. I don't even know if they're in comp- if they're in business anymore. The jingle was, it's short and sweet. It's two words. And it was actually so popular that George Costanza on the Seinfeld series actually started singing it. It's by, oh, by Menon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> By Costanza, that's a, yeah, and, and, yeah. you know, you just you just by men, and I don't yeah, even know what men was, but I would yeah, just be saying by great. men. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Good one, fellas. Good top five. I, I to be honest, I'm surprised that we had we had more in the same list than I thought that we would have. Um, but that'll be interesting. I I do like Joe's. I thought Joe's list was actually pretty good. I would say that would be the front runner, but we never know. Um, we'll see what takes place I there. Won last week, finally, by the way. Did you get last week's? It was like the first week in like months I've won. Yeah, it was a little bit of a drought. Oh. All right. We well, don't, we like don't LA's experiencing, here. apparently. We that don't count does, scores here. That does it. Another edition of the Brilliant Dump Show. Fellas, I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep the boys moving right along. We appreciate you. We'll see you next Tuesday. The Brilliant Dump Show.